Hello, my crafty friends. Hey, did you know that Teacher Appreciation Week is the first full week in May? Now, this does differ a little bit depending on where you live, but in general, that's when most places celebrate Teacher Appreciation Week. So I thought we could make a very simple Teacher Appreciation card here. And I'm starting off with a little bit of dancing. I think I had some ABBA playing as I was getting ready to make this card. I'm almost always listening to music when I create. Do you do that? Do you listen to music? I know some people like to watch TV. Some people like it quiet. I almost always have some music going on. So right here, I've got some Canson 140 pound watercolor paper that I've already cut down some and now I'm cutting it down some more to make a two sized watercolor panels. So these will be five and a half by four and a quarter and I will get off of one sheet, I will get six of these. So as I said, I'd already cut this down so I only got four out of this particular sheet of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape that puppy down and I'm running out of masking tape so I'm having to tear my fat masking tape and use that. And I've got this, I don't know what you would call this, but this came in a board game. It is the I don't know, it had the pieces in it, and we punched the pieces out, and I was looking at that thinking, I think I could probably use this for some things. Those circles would be good for a stencil, and those hexagons will be good for different sorts of things. So, you know, it's our spring break, and we're all locked in the house because of this whole coronavirus thing. So we've been buying and playing lots of board games, lots of strategy board games. We already had the basic version of Risk, and then we bought European Risk, and then my husband just bought 2210 Risk, which was kind of fun. And that's, I think... No, I think these pieces came from a different board game. So I have traced that hexagon, and right now I am just wetting it. I'm using an angled brush because I feel like I can get a nice sharp line when I do that. I do wish I had a smaller board that I could tape my watercolor panels down on so that I could move it around a little bit easier instead of taping it to this paper. I suppose I could have um, moved that mat around a little bit, but I didn't. It's not paper, excuse me, it's the mat. Um, and this is a watercolor set, watercolor palette that I put together myself. So I bought the palette blank and then I filled it with some colors that I liked, and I'm not going to put a whole lot of thought into this. I've just decided I kind of want a bluish green and teal um, watercolor wash here, and I'm making my watercolor color there, and then I'm just going to dip it in and let the water move that color around. I've got the green and then I'm going to add some of that blue color. It's a light, somewhat of an aqua color blue. I'm going to add that into the middle and again I'm just letting the water move that around. After I finish off the bottom part with some of that green, I'm going to go back in and drop some more of that aqua color here and there in the hexagon to give it some variation in color. I don't want it to be too dark because I'm going to be adding a sentiment on top of this. So I don't want it to be too dark. And remember with watercolor, it's always going to dry lighter than it looks. So um, I'll just go ahead and speed this up.
now that I've got that watercoloring done, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. I'm using this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp, and this is a little calculator and a sentiment that says, teach is going to teach. And I think this is very appropriate for right now during our quarantining stage because Hey, even though we're all stuck at home, teachers are still going to teach. A lot of us are still teaching. I know that's not happening everywhere, um, but a lot of us still are teaching. So I'm going to put this down, make sure it's lined up in the center, and then I'm going to heat emboss that with black heat embossing powder. I'm going to take a ruler and after I do a little jig again, I'm going to go trace around the hexagon using a ruler and a micron pen just to give that shape a little bit more definition and to tie in the black in the center. Once I'm done, I decide that it needs a little bit more splatter that's outside the hexagon. So I'm going to take my watercolor palette and do just a little bit more splattering because, let's face it, no project is done until there are splatters. I've trimmed the watercolor panel down so that there's about a half inch all around and I put it on the panel and just decided it needs more trimmed off the sides. So that's what I'm doing here, trimming off the sides of that panel so that we can see more green around the edges. Before I put that watercolor cardstock on to the green lawn fawn cardstock, I'm going to first frame it with some Hero Arts black cardstock. And that's the card for today. Don't forget, Teacher Appreciation Week is the first full week in May. Happy crafting, everybody.